Hey guys, welcome to the first episode in a new series on Prison Architect. Uh, this is a game that I have played before a few times, however, uh, never really got fully into it and thought it would be a fun thing to record for the channel. Uh, I know there was a recent update to this, right around the new year, where the developers patched in some new guard behaviors and stuff, which we may check out a little later down the line, but for now I'd like to stick with what I'm comfortable with. So uh, let's go ahead and create a new prison here that would be a little bit of fun to play with. Um, so first up, we will keep the fog of war on. I haven't tried that before, but I know that it's a game mechanic with the security cameras and stuff and guard patrols. Uh, forests are fine. Lakes I do not want because they're going to be a huge pain for planning. Uh, do we want to generate random buildings? No. Failure conditions? Definitely. And I think the last rest of this will leave off. Um, staff needs is the new feature, and I think I'm going to hold off on that one just because I have enough trouble just with the basic thing. Uh, let's make a medium-sized prison, because uh, we do have a lot of room to expand in, and so large might be overkill. Let's go ahead and jump in. Doesn't look like we need to set a difficulty or anything. Okay, so here's our new prison, and uh, before things get out of hand here, let's go ahead and pause. Uh, again, I have played this game before, but not for a very, very long time, so you're going to have to bear with me while I familiarize myself again with how the game works and everything. Um, but first up, we're going to want to go ahead and take some grants. We have 30 grand to start out with, but uh, we get paid to complete certain basic objectives, and the first one that we're going to want to do is building a basic detention center. This is just going to be not even cells. This is just like a holding cell, shower, uh, yard for the prisoners to hang out in, kitchen for food, canteen where they can actually eat, and then some guards and some cooks to work around the prison. So let's go ahead and select the basic detention center here. And uh, it's now in progress, and you can see it's being tracked on the left corner of the screen here. We can take a couple uh, of grants at once, but I'm going to hold off uh, and try and focus so that we do not spend all of our money before we've gotten to some of the later stuff. So uh, <clears throat> I like to do a concrete building. Brick is nice for like the administration areas, but I think that the theming is nicer when everything is one thing, and concrete is, I think, appropriate for a prison. So... We've got a uh, pre-set up for us, a deliveries and garbage area, which we'll probably move uh, out of the way down the line. But to start out, it's not a terrible, uh, just basic rubric to use. So we'll go out about eight for both of these. So we're going to need a holding cell and a bunch of other stuff. So let's take a look at rooms really quick. Um, we'll want to start out building just the intake here. Um, visitation, no reception. We want reception right off the bat. So... We'll go ahead and uh, go into the planning screen, if I can remember how to do that. Yes, here. And actually, really, we should let's knock out these foundations before they get built and use planning instead. Planning is a really cool feature in this, and I wish more games had it, honestly. So we'll put down some walls like here and like here. We're going to have doors or a door, two doors. Oof. Here, maybe. I think it might only be able to be too wide, so we may have to tighten that up a bit. In fact... Let's not uh, cause trouble for ourselves before it even the game even starts. That's fine. Slightly off-center, but whatever. Uh, and then we will go ahead and have our walls continue down this way. Let's say about 14 just to start out. And we will be counting these bricks as we go. This is a little bit tedious, so if you guys aren't into strategy games, you may want to set it on, like, double speed or something like that because uh, we are going to be pretty exacting with our dimensions here. But... Uh, there we go. So we got just the basic little area here. Um, we're going to want to start out with the reception area, is what I said. So let's go ahead and put down walls like about here. And what's that? One, two, three. About here. And this will be our little reception area. Let's go ahead and check what the room requirements are for size for reception. Probably not huge. Uh, no no size requirements. Okay, well, this is a. I think this is a good size. It's probably even a little bigger than it needs to be, but later on that way we won't have to expand it so we'll go ahead and close this up and this will be our reception room then uh coming off of reception we're going to want our holding cell uh right right there so maybe what we'll do is we'll just go like this and this will be our holding cell here what are the requirements for the holding cell uh let's see here rooms holding cell needs to be five by five. Oh shit yeah this isn't going to work three by five is not gonna cut it so let's go back to the planning menu this is why we check these things and we want it to be five by five so what is or at least five by five we might go a little bigger 
Uh, what is this right now? This is eight long. So that's, oh, sorry, but the interior is six. So that's fine. We can do five by five. It'll be like, oops, it'll be like here. Okay, sorry, get some extra in here, and this should be, yes, five by five now. So, uh, now we've got our holding cell uh, thrown together here. I'm tempted to make it six, and you know what, no, you know what, rather than making it six, though, since a lot of stuff's going to be those five by five dimensions, we'll just go like that, and we'll cut the reception down a little bit. All right, so now we have our holding cell planned out, and we'll plop a, a little door down. Then we're going to want... Let's see, a yard, we'll get to that probably later on here, um, a kitchen and a canteen, and we'll want those right near the holding cell. Maybe what we'll do is put a hall, do we want a hallway here? And then we can break off and have like the kitchen and canteen, oops, and then reception can be like down there. Um, no, I don't think we need to, the holding cell can be alone here. And what we'll do is we'll just have multiple entrances, we can have another door over here that will filter out into a more general area. Okay, so through here would be the main entryway and we're gonna want pathways and I'd say let's do too wide that, oop, that's not what I meant sorry we're gonna have hallways but we don't want the pathway selector hallways kinda going like this um, which look fine uh, too wide I think is good just because I know it's a little unnecessary and not the most efficient use of space but it, it's nice for uh, aesthetics and stuff later on so we've got our too wide road here and our exit out here. So what we'll do probably is have our kitchen and canteen up this way. How large do the kitchen and canteen need to be? Let's find out. Uh, canteen needs to be no minimum size. We'll do five by five. Or we'll do yeah five by five again. And then for the kitchen, also no requirement. So that can also be five by five. All right, we're gonna go upward with this basic stuff because we're probably gonna build our first couple cells out this way. So we'll go ahead and do a couple more five by fives here. So it's actually six by six, but the interior is five by five. Oh, god damn it. Sorry guys. Like this. And not terrible. There we go. And then one more uh, up here. Good. So this can be kitchen and canteen. Um, and we can actually have the entrances. No, I don't see any reason that they need to go directly into the canteen from the holding cells. So we will just go ahead and put doors here and a door here and one more here that way the cooks can get in and out without going through the canteen cool so let's go ahead and bring our pathway or excuse me our wall for this hallway up here and i'm thinking we'll probably have the yard in the middle back here and what else do we need though a shower we still need a shower and then that should do it for basic stuff now i think what we'll do is we'll have the yard entrance, I want it to be somewhat central. I'm a little concerned. I think we're building... No, this isn't terrible. We'll build out down like this, and then we can expand down further south. I don't want to get too caught up in all the individual planning aspects. So let's go ahead and do a quick shower up above the canteen. Uh, again, we'll do... Actually, this should be a bit bigger. We'll do this... Uh, I think, actually, 5x5 five five is just a good size for pretty much everything. And I've screwed it up again be like this cut this off and cut this out there now this is this is fine for our starter shower at least as well so let's grab a door up there and now we can close up uh, a lot of these pathways and stuff since this is to be completed I keep on doing that every time I'm thinking of doors what is is this a Westworld reference the hell that's weird I don't know where that came from all right so, uh, now we just need to go ahead and build in a yard, and we should be able to start actually laying some foundations. Uh, I think the yard should be, like, up here, probably. And we'll do it kind of like, oh, i got to make sure I'm grabbing our interior wall here. And I think the yard can be kind of like this. And we'll say 25 by 28. No, we'll do 28 by 28. kind of like it to be odd, though, because then, uh, that's nah, fine. There we go. So, here's our yard maybe a bit bigger than it needs to be but we're gonna have a lot of prisoners coming through here so that way we won't have to expand it too much all right so let's go ahead and start laying down the foundations and stuff let's uh let's do concrete like I was saying earlier just because uh, I kinda like the look for a prison and we're just gonna start boom putting down all these 
walls here that are going to make it so that we can actually uh, start building. And actually, you know what? We don't want this to be a wall. We want this to be a wall, like up to here. And we want this up to here. But then this can be fence. This doesn't necessarily need to be uh, concrete. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and start time so these guys can start moving. And we need to start placing rooms and, well, before that, even entrances. So let's go ahead and grab objects. Get a large jail door for our front door. Boom. Get some regular jail doors in here. Uh, let's see. Jail door. What do we want? This is definitely a jail door. Um, jail door. This one here is a staff door. And this, because these are going to be for the cooks in the kitchen. And then up here will be another jail door for getting in and out of the cells. Um, yeah, that looks good. These regular doors aren't going to get a ton of use, except for even, <laughs> even for, like, staff offices and stuff, just because... Pretty much everyone who has permission should be able to get where they need to go. Alright, so let's go ahead and speed things up a bit here. Get the concrete laid. Uh, and then once these foundations, like, complete, you'll see it'll all, like, whoo, uh, fill out. Then we're going to go ahead and start placing in rooms. And let's not forget, we're going to need utilities as well, which maybe we'll build those a little further south. Um, but for now, let's wait for them to finish this foundation here. And you'll see it all fill out when it's done. There we go. Now we're going to want to go ahead and place some interior walls. And this is something that I've made a mistake with before. You want to make sure that um, your interior walls are the same material as what you're building with. I put down a bunch of concrete walls in a brick prison once, and it was not pretty. All right. Oop. That. And then, honestly, well, this probably didn't even need to get built, but that's fine. Okay, and uh, we're going to be pulling all these lights down, possibly, because they don't tend to do an amazing job lighting, but we'll see. By default, the light placement is not the most efficient, because they don't seem to really take the wall placement into account, or the interior, excuse me, wall placement. It's only based on the exteriors. All right, so we've got all this laid down. Uh, what we're going to want to do next is grab a fence, I think, and we'll put paving stones down on the path eventually, since we don't want to close. Do we want to make this an interior... Do we want to have the, just like, concrete walls around the, uh, yard? I was thinking fencing, but maybe it'd be better just to go with concrete. You know what, for now, we'll go for concrete. We, we're still doing pretty good on money here. Alright. Have you guys go ahead and do that, and we can start naming the, uh... Or, excuse me, not naming, but, uh, <clears throat> placing the rooms here. So, let's say reception is gonna be this... And then, uh, let's see, holding cell here, and canteen here, got our yard out here, and no need for the cell placement right now, let's see, what do we have left, shower and kitchen, okay, shower up here, and a kitchen over here. So really, this stuff is mostly for the use of the prisoners in the holding cell. Later on, we'll probably be building larger facilities, but in the meantime, this is better than nothing. And that'll do it for this episode of Prison Architect. Sorry for the abrupt ending, guys, but this was all pre-recorded, so I'm just inserting these uh, breaks after the fact. But if you guys did enjoy, please be sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Let me know what you thought. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time.